in this tutorial we will learn basic features of SOLIDWORKS so here you will see the note all dimensions are in millimeters for educational purpose now I'm going to zoom and we will start with the base now this base flange size you will see 100 110 plus 100 it's 310 millimeter then width is 100 millimeter and the thickness goes here 14 millimeter now there is one cutout 12 millimeter depth in both side see the distance so let's do this now any plane you can choose but I am going to start with top plane a sketch now activate here center rectangle because I am going to start my body from origin point in a center way see this is a kind of symmetric way press escape key to out a smart dimension now here these dimensions like 100 you can directly write 100 plus 110 say ok see 100 now here go to feature and either you can exit or directly choose extruded boss base feature now here start condition keep same as it is end condition I am going to keep mid plane and here I have to define the thickness ok let's go to define some color appearance so that it looks better ok now press skip uh, sketch now activate here center rectangle even though we can cut with first operation but we have to learn some basic that's why I'm going to keep this as a second feature smart dimension now this distance 110 millimeter and distance from here to outer edge 100 millimeter and the depth is 12 millimeter check isometric view now this is fully defined check at right bottom now exit and go to feature and activate extruded cut feature now see automatically it is selected by system because only one close profile we have now here start condition we will keep same end condition we have too many options either you can choose blind and put the thickness or select through all say ok see now let's mirror this choose mirror option in mirror first we have to choose a symmetric plane which is suitable for mirror so you have to find right plane see this is at center that's why we choose our body at center now here choose feature to mirror from here you can select or either directly you can choose from here say ok now look now you will see this strip 65 millimeter bottom and here 36 millimeter so first we will make this strip then we will make this circle this strip thickness 8 millimeter you will see here now distance from here to outside to outside of this 35 millimeter ok now here one circle 50 millimeter width and uh, diameter you will see 130 and 75 internal diameter ok and distance from center to outside 220 millimeter this is important ok let's do this first then we will add this circle right plane sketch now activate here line tool press just go back to the point and see the line is converted into arc now place somewhere like here ok hold shift key select this origin point and center of this circle make one line ok we need to make one more geometry I am going to add some center line now hold shift key select center line and these two outer lines leave your shift key and you will see this option make symmetric A smart dimension let's define the outer diameter 130 means 130 divided by 2 it's going to be radius ok now distance from outer edge to outer center to outer edge 220 that's fine 
and one more distance distance from here to this outer edge 35 look our drawing is fully defined so this is not closed geometry so i am not going to make closed geometry simply choose extruded boss base feature now here it comes start condition same direction end condition mid plane okay thickness i am going to keep according to drawing it's 8 mm okay this thickness according to drawing not 8 it's 65 mm but here comes thin feature i am going to keep normal view now look thickness you have to choose from here 8 mm see direction outside inside but we, we will keep inside according to drawing say okay look front plane is sketch now activate line tool skip key to out now select center line draw one vertical center line make sure it is vertical you will see this symbol now select all lines and you will see click mirror entity and it is mirror now the important thing here distance from here to here it's 36 so how you will make just select the line convert entity or draw line convert entity but this is full line trim entity i am going to choose trim to close it trim this one this one okay now select the line construction geometry smart distance dimension 36 now look drawing is fully defined activate extruded cut feature now here keep end condition through all both side look the preview say okay see here now go to right plane sketch now let's make those circle activate circle tool move your cursor and you will see center point press escape key to out smart dimension 130 mm perfect and the inner 75 mm extruded boss base feature now here start condition same end condition mid plane and this is going to be 50 mm make sure it is merge okay now look now look there is a internal one thick wall you can calculate this center distance from here see 35 12 you can calculate it easily so it is located at just center of the body overall 100 12 36 plus 6 mm so it's going to be 50 mm okay 25 18 and wall thickness 6 mm and corner radius 10 mm sketch now okay i am going to select this line hold shift key this line convert entity so we don't need to draw trim entities power trim just trim outer one okay activate line tool i want to make draw a one close line close pro profile now connect it again activate line tool and connect it from here to here skip key to out now make one center line now hold shift key select these three lines and leave shift key you will see this option make symmetric fine one more option hold shift key select these two lines parallel now apply dimension 25 and from here one more dimension activate line tool
18 millimeter let's uh, delete this line better trim entity close it to trim trim this even though geometry is fully defined okay now activate extruded boss base feature now here we have more than two see if i move my cursor it will show you so i am going to one two these two geometry we need to end condition mid plane six millimeter is the thickness make sure mid plane look activate fillet constant type symmetric and radius 10 millimeter and i am going to select one rotate model two okay now here at the end we have to select this one see 18 radius 12 millimeter depth there is a one hole see two holes both side 14 diameter how you will make this right plane a sketch activate line tool due to taper we are not going to directly place because that's why I'm going to use this method okay activate the smart dimension this distance 12 millimeter okay now activate extruded boss base feature and keep end condition mid plane and this is going to be 18 millimeter 18 okay radius 18 means 18 into 2 it's 36 and here i am going to choose unmerged result because i want to make radius also here okay let me choose here fillet here choose the last one full round fillet first phase second phase and third phase look okay if this is one body we can't do this that's why we make two body now let's mirror this because we have more than I want to make hole here so before going to make a hole let's mirror this simply go to mirror reference plane front plane now here choose body this is not feature because this is a separate body see you will see the preview okay now activate hole wizard choose here hole metric drill size 14 millimeter and here choose through all position select this face just move cursor over age and you will see this option similarly select and put in another side press escape key to out okay now look the hole is created now let's make there is a four number of holes nine diameter depth 20 but this hole with tapped hole see m10 into 1 6 millimeter is this 6 h is standard depth 20 pitch circle 105 45 degree see here so directly i am going to choose hole wizard now this time i am going to choose straight tap metric here i am going to choose bottoming tapped hole size this is going to be m10 into 1 see even though you can change size from here see the da hole depth 9 millimeter end condition blind now depth 20 make sure 20 now hole depth up to shoulder 20 not up to corner see here up to tip now thread depth 20 choose this with thread call out 
position select this face now press escape key to out and activate circle create pitch circle construction smart dimension 105 now activate center line and let me draw one line 45 degree at press escape key to out smart dimension angle 45 degree now press escape key to out and activate this point and you will activate the tool press escape key to out say yes now see if you don't see here shaded cosmetic thread just go to option documents property detailing and check the box shaded cosmetic thread threads activate circular pattern now here i am going to use one circular edge equal spacing 360 degree four number of instances feature directly choose this you will see the preview four number of holes okay look here now still there is a three parts go to edit direct combine even though you can search combine if you select this i it will show you where it is located see it is automatically open and you will see so click combine the operation type add bodies to combine just move cursor 1 2 3 show preview and see this is going to be like this say okay and here we have one body see how we make a simple exercise in solid works with the help of basic features i hope you learn don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching